Hello, everyone. Welcome back to All the Right Reasons with Kayla and Debbie, your favorite auntie niece duo. We are back two weeks later for another yeah. double episode recap of The Bachelor. So sorry, guys, but we are back. Just- we're feeling good <laughs> and we're excited to dive in. How are you feeling, Auntie Debbie? Feel great. Busy week, busy, busy week. Day. But nothing I love more mm-hmm. than coming on and talking to my niece about the Bachelor, <laughs> the Boston accent. <laughs> ah, no, same, same. Like I realized this week, I was like, "Dang, I like miss Auntie Debbie, and I like miss the pod." And like, there's just so much that's happened in the past two weeks on the show, and just oh, yeah. in general, even just in life. Like, I feel like I've lived like a month since I've been here with you guys so I'm excited to just like catch up um I think also another reason why it feels like it's been 80 years is because I've also been going through the trials and tribulations of the journey that is love is blind season six (laughs) the trials and tribulations Good, good mighty god sweet baby jesus yeah this season yeah. is wild. Wild. It's wild, <laughs> but also it's like, what's happening? <laughs> then also it's like, is anything happening or is a lot happening? Like, I can't figure it out. Right. Like, it's so, it's such an interesting, odd, so crazy good. season. Mm-hmm. Where did they find these people? Like, what's going on? Are we okay as a society? Like, (laughs) what? (laughs) Society. Well, the answer is no, we're not. We're not. That's a a given. But no, like, what? Where are they this year? Like, what town? Girl, Charlotte. They're in Charlotte. Yes. Wait, so why are they why is A D from Boston then? I don't understand. I thought the I whole think she's just there. saying she's like from originally from Boston, but okay. I don't think she's like lives. I think she obviously everyone lives in Charlotte. But I was that like what my god sister sent me the auditions oh, when wow. they were going to Charlotte back like what a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. And I was like, girl, I'm not trying to sign up to get tortured. I'm not <laughs> going up on there. And I'm so glad I never went up on there. That would have been a fun experience, though. Okay. I mean, fun? I'm all about experiences. <laughs> I would have been, listen, the thing that is, too, crazy. it would have been like, it would have been crazy. I would have been super like stressed. Yeah. And it's one of those things where if I go on a reality show, I want, come on, like, I want air, I want screen time. You know what I mean? And I'm not, I'm in know. no way going to just get engaged. I've never even been in like a serious relationship. Right. Before. I'm not getting engaged on love is blind. I can't see who might be like, oh, I have a baby at home. Actually, never mind. I'm a liar and freak. Like, no, <sighs> yeah. there's no way. Very anyway, true. I get it. This is not a love is blind recap. We are going to do a love is blind recap. You know we do, y'all. Next we know week. we got y'all. We got y'all. We got y'all. We're, we're, Don't even we're worry working about on it. it. We're working on it. We were trying to do one this week, but just our schedules didn't really match up. Um, we've been like super busy lately. So thank you guys for because being when patient. it comes from the same time as Bachelor, like I feel like they should they should time it better. Like they should time it after the Bachelor. Because then all the people that are watching the Bachelor, I mean, I guess that's what people are doing now, but I'm like, all the people that are watching The Bachelor or that recap The Bachelor would then be like, naturally just go to this. Like, trying the to. The thing play- is, no, it's true. Lot, the like- thing is, though, is Love is Blind comes on more than once a year sometimes. Yeah, that's true. Last year, it had two seasons. Mm-hmm. Pretty much and every. Now- well, that's the same for The Bachelor, though. There's two every year. There's a bachelor and a bachelorette. Yeah, ba- I mean it's three. It's shoot, almost four seasons now. Right, it's right. So it's like you're never gonna not run yes. into it being on at the same time. Yeah, they could, but, but they, they had released it right at the end of Joey's season. Like, wait a few more weeks, and then it would. That's been. true because they like put out like batch episodes. That's true because yeah, they put out like, six episodes at once. Exactly. That's true. That's true. And then in the, but in the, the thing, 
anyway yeah, yeah. i'm sorry i was just gonna say the thing is love is blind is bigger than bachelor at this point mm. it you is so? like really? yeah i can just based off of people's following it's bigger right. than bachelor. like last well, season it's newer like i think it's newer it's trendier like I think it it's here and that's why people are like, cause back in the day, people followed a lot of people from bachelor. It's just that lately people aren't following as much as they used to. And then because love is blind is like, it's like the new toy. It's the new shiny toy. Now yeah. all them are getting all the followers, but eventually love is blind. People will stop. It's just like American idol. The first yeah, piece yeah, yeah. Trial, everyone was going crazy. Oh my God. Kelly Clarkson, like huge star, but now you win American idol and ain't nobody ain't nobody heard of you like you still are like just a random artist <clears throat> yeah, it's, doing much, yeah. So. I think it's just the new shiny toy and that's why like but as far as like popularity in the grand scheme of things I would say they're about even like that's fair and you know like but, people that yeah. become celebrities after this I personally feel like people become celebrities more from The Bachelor af after than Love is Blind if you think about it yeah 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 I more of those people have yeah, been yeah, yeah, no, for sure no one from Love is Blind is like hosting the MTV Awards like Taisha literally right. hosted like the VMAs or something or on, <laughs> like yeah, last year exactly. or wow. freaking send your camera on SNL make it yeah, a yeah 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 Kardashians as an like that's that no, has it's true. love is blind no, it's, yet it's so very 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 true that's the only reason why I'm like eh, I don't know yeah it's about Kardashian even yeah still has a little bit of a leg up but anyway we're gonna recap it anyways at and it's gonna be interesting mm -hmm. it's gonna be interesting I feel like the first few seasons of love is blind were like more legit I feel like it's getting mm -hmm. less and less because people are like manipulating the system a little bit and they're not really buying into the whole like process of it. So it's like kind of working less, I think, than it would have worked if people really like committed to the process. But anyway. yeah, people are, yeah, we'll talk about it. People are just trying to rig the system. And I think it's just more about the show of it all instead of just being like the purity of the show. Cause it's like, season one it was yeah. a brand new thing no one really knew that, right. you know no one had done it before it first season you know first right everything so people are just like yeah I'm true to this I'm being legit not here for the you know clout or anything and now we're like dealing right. with all of that which comes with a lot with bachelor stuff so yeah Anyways, we'll get into it. But if right. you are, if you made it this far in the um, video, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a single podcast from us here at All The Right Reasons. We love you all so much. Uh, yeah. And with that, let's get into episode six and yes. seven of Joey's season of The Bachelor. Take it away, Auntie Debbie. Yeah, so we got a lot to talk about. So we're going to try to fly through this. Um, so first up in episode six, you know, we have this kind of opening moment with Joey and he is pretty much just, I mean, I feel like at this point in the season, this always happens where they're taking stock of just where they are in the process, where they are with people. And it was just really endearing, I guess is the right word to to say, like, it was endearing to see it was like just, yeah, his heart, like Joey's kind of struggling a little bit, but I will say this, here's my little take or my read. And I want to hear your thoughts, but like my read of this moment, of course it was endearing. I was like, Oh, Joey, like he was, he was getting emotional feeling like, Oh, you know, people want me to be perfect or I feel like people expect me to be, and I'm not, um, uh, you know, I, I I can tell like there's probably these moments where the bat or the producers are like, be lighter, be funnier, be something like they're, you know, they're trying to mold you sometimes. And I think he's just like, well, sometimes that's just not me. Like mm -hmm. I like myself. But the one thing for me that like was a little bit of a read for me was like, it did seem like this was a moment where he was saying, I'm going to now start opening up more, mm -hmm. open up more. Mm -hmm. Like, Joey, like <laughs> you can't mm -hmm. come on the bachelor and then halfway through the season now say you're going to start opening up. And this is what made me start having doubts about 
how successful this is going to be. Like, even if he picks somebody, is it going to be successful if you it's didn't fair. get beat as you could have gotten if you really were open from the beginning? And then I'm going to say, mm-hmm. shut up. But like, that was the moment. And there was another moment in episode seven, but that was the first time mm-hmm. I felt like they should have brought on like a, like a Sean Lowe or a Brink. Yeah. They needed, it needed an OG this season. They needed an OG K in the beginning of the season because like Joey's a little green, like charity season yep. was like, Oh, I've never really watched a show. I just, yep. Yep. There. Yep. 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 What to expect. So I feel like if he would have benefited from just that little pep talk in the beginning by somebody who who understands and like has had a success outside of this and can just be like dude i know you were hurt by charity i know this was this is like uncharted waters but be open to me the number Mm -hmm. one qualifier to be the bachelor or the bachelorette is like you have to be open you gotta be open you're already trying to get them to open up if you're starting off close in what like it's just not a good Mm -hmm. recipe I talked to my no you're good you're good I yeah I mean just seeing this moment I will say I was just like man I love Joey I love his honesty I love his vulnerability and just how he's just himself but um I agree I agree with your point of view I think that's that's makes a lot of sense but I guess just to just to defend the other side of it I will say I think it makes sense like I think Mm -hmm. You start to see after this, Joey, I think he talks about it in episode seven, charity season really, it was, it, that was hard for him. Like that really was a heartbreak for him, right? which is just like, oh man, like he really was in love with her. And I think like he's protecting himself a little bit because he's yeah. even as the lead of his own season has this deep fear so much so that he's only been kind of showing half of himself. And I think that's why we've been kind of, like, man, I'm not really seeing the Joey that was with Charity yet. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not seeing that Joey quite yet. I'm seeing glimpses yeah. of him with certain girls, but I'm not really seeing him fully. And I think a part of it is, like, he's been closing. He's been kind of having a little bit of a wall up. But it's interesting that he has this wall a little bit up until this point, I guess you could say. And mm-hmm. yet we still love him so much. And I feel like he's still yeah. being, like, such a good bachelor. He's being so... Um, present with everyone and giving everyone an equal chance um, of getting to know them. Um, And, but yeah, I mean, I think it's makes sense. um, And I'm glad he's realizing it as he's like, Oh, I really actually feel so strongly for these people. Um, So yeah, but we'll, we'll see where it goes, but yeah. Yeah. I hear you. So yeah. we go to the, you know, the next location where they are and they're in Montreal and, um, you know, we go into a group date, <clears throat> Daisy, Caitlin, Kelsey, Jen, Rachel, Lexi, Leah, and Jess. Um, so basically they, you know, go on like, I guess some kind of like scavenger hunt. It kind of felt like amazing race a little bit. Cause like every location they went to, they would get a new, like a new card of where to go next or something. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was kind of fun. I think that kind of thing is fun because then you get to explore the town while also like have, playing a game, I guess. Um, they made poutine, which I love. I love poutine. So I was like, oh my God, that's so fun. Um, yeah. So it was cool. They mm-hmm. were like, it was, it was fun. It, I mean, it was a cool mm-hmm. date. I would probably rate it like a seven. I think, you know, we were getting to that point or we were getting to that point where it was like, it's uncomfortable on these group dates. Nobody's a fan. Everybody's spiraling. <laughs> so that was kind of happening, you know, happening a little bit, but yeah. What were your thoughts about the group date? Worst group date I've ever seen. <laughs> like ever. Like this group date was maybe a two out of 10. Yeah. Like, yeah. You don't do the let's stroll around the city on a group date with six yeah. girls, like seven girls. Like, that's not what you do. There was no structure. There was yes. like nothing yeah. to do. They all hated it. Everyone yeah, hated it. They were it's- all stressed because it was like, oh, the only activity is to like fight for his attention. Like, creatively, like it's super awkward. Like, yeah. we're going to make fry, we're going to make poutine. Like, 
this group date was so bad. Like, it's a great one-on-one date idea, but not a group date. Right. So, like, I hear you. I, I don't know. I was just like, y'all. And then it just got super like culty. They're like ringing around the rosy around him. Yeah. Like, I'm like, what is this midsummer? Like, this is so weird. And they're all like taking turns kissing him. I'm like, this is a weird date. Man. Yeah, that was like yeah, this for date. Sure. That moment, I was like, I right. was like. And it was just boring. It was boring because everyone was in a bad mood. Everyone wanted the one-on-ones and everyone's just like feeling it because it's getting tough. So it's like, Mm -hmm. right. So that's when you do, you know, the fun group dates where there's something to do and like kind of, you know what I mean? But just mind off of just everybody in your face. Everyone is in your face and yeah, just walking around. It's just not, yeah, it needed structure. Yeah. Um, But I mean, Jen definitely tried her best. I feel like. She was trying to oh, make Jen the most of it. The star of that group date. If there she was, was a star, the group date. it was Jen because she basically she was like, like, I'm not holding, I'm not gonna let anybody, like, yeah. I'm not going to let my nerves kind of hold me back. Like, she was just yeah. going for it. Um, Kelsey A was definitely like spiraling a little bit because coming off of that one on one and then going back into that group setting, feeling like I'm, I'm getting lost, you know, I'm not like, visible or I don't know the top front of your mind or something um you know she was feeling that even though that's not the case but right um, Right, right, right. yeah going into the night portion of course he's you know wants to open up wants to go deeper Mm -hmm. um so we can we can go through the fluff we don't need to like I don't even think we need to like talk about say whatever you want to say let's just get to it to okay let's obviously let's just talk about Kelsey real quick so obviously okay. the moment in the chat with Kelsey A, mm-hmm. she talked about, you know, I just felt like I was kind of in the background. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he was like, you could never like this moment with Kelsey A was if you couldn't tell, guys, Kelsey A is my favorite. Like, I want her to win. She's want Kelsey A to win, too. I love her. Like, I just love, love her. her. Love her for Joey. Like, I love her for Joey. Yeah. I really. I really do. And so there was this moment where she was like, I, you know, if I was in the background, he was like, you could never be in the background. Yeah. And then she was like, basically kind of like, I'm falling for you or whatever. And he was like, Kayla, it was so cute. Was like, <laughs> best moment. Best swoon. <laughs> swoon worthy moment. So swoon. He was like, did you just whisper that? Can you say it again? And it was so cute. And then he kissed her. I was just like, oh my God. I, I was like, what Kayla. are y'all talking about? Kelsey A's chemistry with Joey eats, eats. daisies. It I'm eats sorry. Everyone. It I'm eats sorry. everyone's. I'm literally like, everyone. how are y'all so dead set on date? I don't get it. Well, I, I like have, her. I like I Daisy. I get. It. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I know. We can't girl. Yeah. But no, for me, best moment, like best moment was that moment because it was for just sure. Oh, I watched it 30 times. Loved it. Love that moment. No favorite moment um and like he just he just easily like quickly validated her and that was such a huge juxtaposition from when we get to Jess Mm -hmm. where it's like Jess first of all Jess you're not falling in love with Joey you're just saying that so that you yeah. can stick around longer. Like you want to, you want to say that that's where you're at, but that's really not where you're at. Like be mm-hmm. for real. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And, um, so, I mean, his, his facial expression was just like, hmm. Oh, right away. Right away. Instantly you could like, it. yeah, don't feel the same. <laughs> yeah. So I commended him for just being like yeah. the way he just kind of broke up with her on the spot. And was just like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm just not there. I don't think I can get there. And, Yep. She was so hurt. I was just like, I mean, I mean, I get it. Like, it sucks. It sucks to get broken up with, but I didn't expect her to be like that, that hurt. I don't know. It was just like, okay. Yeah. It was she time was, for her to go. But Yeah, it was. It for sure was. I feel like she could have seen the writing on the wall. And you're right. I think she was, saying, yeah. she was thinking, I think she was thinking by saying I'm falling for you, it would further the relationship somehow or further the connection. Mm-hmm. But if anything, it just highlighted the fact that like we're just not there. Like I'm not there with you, kind of thing. Um, so we go into this moment where even before Jess, we went into this moment with Lexi, where 
she starts talking about like timing and just, you know, because of her situation with having right. endometriosis, her timeline is like super important. And, you know, so, so they have an honest conversation just about what is your timeline of marriage, having children, that kind of thing. And he, I was really glad Joey was honest and said like, yeah, honestly, just to be honest with you, like, I'm thinking two or three year engagement and then maybe be married a couple of years before we, you know, I have kids. Yeah. And I think she was really understanding in that conversation, in that moment, like you're, of course, absolutely. You're, you're allowed to want that or, or, you know, that's, that's fine. Just because our timelines may not line up doesn't mean there's anything wrong with your timeline. Mm -hmm. So um, I thought it was interesting. I have thoughts. I don't know. Should I give them now? And then I'll, hear your take, I guess, um, after that sure. conversation, like, yeah, I just feel like, okay, so one, I felt like his timeline made sense. Like Joey's like 27, 28, mm -hmm. you know, I, even though I don't necessarily believe in like long two or three year engagements in the real world, I feel like if y'all are engaged, y'all should know, like by the time y'all get engaged, you should know and be able to get married within six months or so. But on this show, coming off this show, I yeah. think two to three years of being engaged makes sense because sure. one of them years is y'all really just getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. I mean, you're planning the wedding. So yeah. I just, his timeline, and then you want to be married. I agree with that. You want to be married a couple of years before you bring children in to the world. So yeah. I think the timeline makes total sense when it comes to Lexi. And I love Lexi. My, my thing with Lexi is I kind of feel for her because I don't really know what kind of guy she's going to find mm. honestly, mm. because the kind of guy that's going to be ready to get married and have kids right away is someone mm -hmm who's probably going to be on the older side. Yep. Essentially like, like Claire Crawley's husband, mm -hmm. right. Been married before had children, but mm -hmm. he was an anomaly because he was open to actually having more children. Sometimes when you meet a guy who's been married, had their children, now they're in their early forties, they may be like, I don't know if I want more children. So my question for Lexi is like, are you looking, are you, kind of do you want a husband or do you just want to have children <laughs> like mm. and, I want husband and she wants children but sometimes it's like you got to find the husband first and then you got to yeah. fix it. but you have to be willing to say like if 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 this is more important to find my husband or to have a husband like then I got to be open to maybe adopting or maybe mm -hmm. Realizing mm -hmm. that having my own natural children may not be like physically possible, you know, um, because if you if it's more about having children, then just go get artificially inseminated, like just have children, like mm -hmm. and find a husband after that. Be like, well, I'm a single mom, you know, see if you can. Hey, you know, so I I'm, again, I'm not suggesting that's what she should do. Yeah. But in her situation those are kind of the options. Cause I just think it's going to be tough to find a guy who's like 30, who's like going to meet you and ready to get married within like six months or so. And then ready to have kids right away. I just think that's right. Rare. Yeah, Sorry. I agree. And I think, um, that she probably knew that this was going to be a thing before she came onto this show, but she was like, ah, I'll just go see what happens as we, as we go. And then it's like, Oh, she really, there is a strong connection to Joey. Um, and so it was just kind of like, I think she probably had it in her head. This is a bridge I'm going to have to cross if I get to it. And then she got mm -hmm. to it. She's like, dang, I'm, I'm crossing it now. You know, I got to cross it. Um, so I think that's why it was so easy for her to be like, yeah, I can't like, or so quickly. She was just like, I got to I got to go. Um, yeah. Which sucked for her, sucked for Joey, because I know it was just like instantly kind of a, a little bit triggered that, no, for sure triggered that fear that he talked about at the top of the episode yeah. Um, of like, dang, I was feeling this connection with Lexi and she left. Now, granted, it wasn't that she didn't like me, but it was just right, is what, right. was what it was. Um, but yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. I, I hope that she 
you know, just finds that rare person. I know that they're out there for her. It's just probably a matter of like, okay, like just understanding, like maybe, you know, the stat, the kind of limitations she has for certain people that would be open to that. And, but it's totally possible. It's totally people, guys are out there like that. That'll, you know, would totally ready for um, that. (laughs) Be ready for that. And she's so, she's such a, she seems like such a beautiful person and she's beautiful outside. And, Mm -hmm. um, but I will say I've been telling y'all, I've been telling y'all, Lexi is gonna leave early. I just saw it and I saw right. my preview eyes, man. I was like, boy, you should I'm have your spoiler. Telling you. Spoiler. No, seriously. All right. So uh, basically, Jen gets the rose. Let's 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 um yep. move on. But Jen gets the rose. Um, they didn't really show him talk to Rachel very much. Um, which I yeah. still have about Rachel. I'm like no, I know she's final three, but I'm just like, I don't really I get just, it. Um, yeah. But okay, let's move on to the date with Kelsey T. So Kelsey T household. This is a Kelsey Joe. T household. And Joey Joe. Joey um, Joe. Joe um, Joe. The nicknames. Just everything about Kelsey. Sorry, I just have to insert that she watches our podcast. She DM'd me. <laughs> And I literally was like, I'm going to cry. Like, literally listen to our podcast. Like, what? We love you. She's like, no, y'all's podcast gives me life. Like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm obsessed. No, so I anyway, love her so much. Kelsey, she's one of the girls. They look so good together. Like, they I said this to offline. I was like, Kelsey T is like the Nate Mitchell with Gabby Wendy. Like, everybody wants wanted Gabby Wendy to pick Nate Mitchell. He's probably who she should have been with. Um, but it just didn't, you know, it didn't work out yeah. um, because they just weren't right for each other. And that's how it's like in another alternate universe, Joey and Kelsey T would have just been so freaking just so fire. perfect. They're so good been, together. They would have ate everything. Ate. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you imagine seeing them together at like walking a down the street, walking down the street, having children? Like, yo, it would have just been so fire. So um, fire. but it just wasn't in the cards, but yeah, mm. so but yeah, their date was so great. The Cirque du yeah. Soleil, totally giving like greatest showman vibes, you know, yeah. like Zach, you know, Zach, right the stars, <laughs> them, like, flying so out, the, yeah. Every- Loved it so much. The only Such downside was that, like super nauseous, which <laughs> would have totally been me. Like, totally Joey been me. with the, he was like, oh, I'm was, sick. Oh, gonna throw up. Gonna throw up in a second. I'm glad I'm not having a good time. <laughs> and I felt for him because I know that feeling. Like that happens to me in cars. It's nothing. Yeah, like, motion sick. I just feel sick. All like, yeah. even though you're not throwing up, you're like, I just don't feel good. Yeah. So to be on a date and feel that way, so bad. But yeah. So what did you think? Um, what did you think? No, I mean, yeah. Love this, this date. Physical chemistry with her was the best. I, I mean, outside That's of Kelsey, else Kelsey a has the physical and the emotional for sure. Kelsey, mm-hmm. too, like their chemistry was just like just the sweet chemistry. You can tell they just are endeared to each other, and there's like a comfort there yes. of just like soft and gentleness and again like I don't think I've ever seen a contestant like give the lead a nickname where they're just like Jojo oh like Joey Joe like it's so like it just okay. makes it feel like so real and it's okay. really it's a special like connection that they have um I thought the date was super fun cool idea to do kind of gets you out of your comfort zone. I think that was good for them to do something like that. Cause you could tell Kelsey was a little nervous. Yeah. Um, and, um, and Joey wasn't having the best week, obviously. So I think it was just cool to get out of your comfort zone and do something like kind of fun and, mm-hmm. and just fly around. But yeah, sorry. Yep. He got, got the, he got, he got the, the spins. Head. He got the, <laughs> But Kelsey yeah. seemed like she she was like, oh, you're okay. Like, I get yeah. it. It's all good. You know, just kind of comforting him a little bit. No, totally. But okay. um, the night portion definitely made me sad, though. So, no, uh, go ahead. yeah, let's go into the night portion. Um, yeah. You know, she talked about, um, you know, her relationship with her dad. And um, 
at first I was trying to figure out when she brought up religion, I was trying to figure out, was it Muslim, you know, cause that's kind of what it, yeah. in terms of like his plan for me, not necessarily being my plan or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. but I think she addressed online that it was like Jehovah's witness. Um, yep. so yeah, that can be tough. That can be really tough when you have yeah. like, you know, when your parents are kind of, even what you were raised in and then you become an adult and you're like, wait, you know, I have to make these yeah. decisions myself. And it's tough when you have a parent that, you know, it's sad that they, they like didn't talk for a long time. And yep. now rekindling that, I was glad to hear that she said like they were kind of coming back around. Talking that, again. Yeah, that could be, but definitely the trust, the trust thing, her saying like her trust is like a zero. I was like, yeah, that's, she's, you know, she's got to def- definitely work on that because mm-hmm. in any relationship, you got to, you don't want the person to feel like they have to work for your trust. Mm-hmm. It's one thing they betray your trust and then have to work to get it back, get it but back. they shouldn't have to work for it from the very beginning. You know, yeah. um, if you don't trust them, you just can't, you can't really be with someone if you don't trust them. <laughs> it's like no point. So, yeah. um, so, I mean, I, she's amazing. She's such a beautiful person inside and out. I think she'll, you know, she'll find, obviously we're like, we've seen the next episode. I know. We, yeah. Happened already, but it's, yeah. as far as this date went, I thought it was, it was a great night portion. It was a great, great moment. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was cool. I mean, again, of course, Joey was just super great listener, very supportive, comforting, did his Joey Joe wipe the tear off the face. Move. Oh my God. So classic Such a that. sweetheart. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just disappointed me to hear that story. I'm not going to lie. Just like as, as a Christian, whenever I hear, and I'm obviously like being a Christian and being a Jehovah's witness is two different like different. religions, right? Yes. But still like, it is somewhat like you're following God, you follow, you know, mm-hmm. believe in Jesus. And it's just, just a sidebar on that, not to deep dive, but it, it's disappointing when you hear things like that, because it's like, like neglecting your child, kicking them out, not speaking, like shunning them is literally the most anti Jesus thing that you can do. Like, so it's just kind of like, really? Like just on like a logical, your heart posture. It's like, how can you, Yeah. how can someone do that? It's just, Uh, it's just wrong. And it's just always frustrating to hear anyone who yeah. again like believes in in the same god that i believe in do yeah. that it's just like come on man like this is yeah. why people have an affinity mm-hmm. towards religion and it's just disappointing to hear um yeah but it happens and so yeah. i'm glad kelsey seems to be such a like understanding sweet kind person Mm -hmm. she doesn't seem angry she just seems hurt she just seems hurt and neglected and and obviously I think she's I I can tell she's she's kind of like worked on it some but it it, you know she's realizing oh it's still some absolutely trust that I need to you know as it would be like anyone who's been like kind of rejected by it like a parent like someone who's supposed to like you know, for not doing exactly what, you know, I want you to do. But, you know, yeah. but it's it's funny, like different religions and different, like even their beliefs, and even in terms of what you're saying right now, I'm not, I'm not even sure like our, our, our doctrine is even close. Like, as yeah, far as, that's fair. That's so, so fair. I, so, so, you know, it's just, it's very different, you know, um, mm-hmm. not but people me. don't know that, you know what I mean? People yeah, kind of like can that. group it all together a little bit. Yeah. And, yeah. um, yeah, and I hope and in, they don't. It's yeah. not. It's very different. There's it's definitely very, very different. That's why, like I said, I thought it, I didn't know if it was Muslim because I'd heard I've heard stories like that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. With that culture, like if even especially for for people that were raised maybe Muslim and then um, like converted, like if they converted to Christianity or something, it can be really difficult for the family. Like, yeah, um, as far as like like kind of that rejection or feeling like well. I'm, you know, I don't exist to them now anymore. It's sad, but, um, but yeah, I mean, again, I'm glad that it, as an adult, she's, you know, they've tried to rekindle, but again, the pain from just the years that he let you kind of missed out on, you know, it's tough. Yeah. So, but love her, loved that. This love date. her, love them. 
love them. It was great. It was really great. You have a cool connection. Okay, so let's move on to Maria. Got the second Maria, one. Maria, Maria. Loved that they did the group date first and then did like back Same. to back. Same. It was cool. Yeah. Real cool. I liked that. Um, so okay. Here's my thing about Maria. And we gotta we gotta go quicker. So I'm going to just give you my thoughts about Maria real quick. Okay. Um, obviously, they went on a helicopter. They were in a limo. Uh, basically, she got the pretty woman date, right? She right. in the limo went, picked out some like a beautiful dress. They went on the helicopter and it was just it was a beautiful date. Like it was just that it was that date that you're that we always talk about. Right. And and it was cool that Maria got that date because she's been dragged through the trenches this whole season up until now. <laughs> so right. it's like, it's because I'm like, this is going to break the cycle of like what people say, like the person who gets this date wins or whatever. Yeah, it's true. It's true, it's true. true. This time. But yeah. Um, but what I will say about this Maria date was that she brought out a side in Joey that I've been Ooh, missing. Like, yes. I was like, there you are, Joey. There's yes. Joey. It was like, the there's Charity's Joey. Confident, sw- got a little bit of like swag. swag right. Like, it's that very, but like that chill, like, he's mm-hmm. my guy. Like, Joey, the Joey yeah. that we've been seeing is just like super in his head. And like, I'm sure that's mm-hmm. a side of him, but I like that side that she brought out of him was like more relaxed and confident and like, she made him laugh. It was just so great. And their chemistry is amazing. Like their chemistry yeah. is, it seems like, I don't know how deep it is in terms of like emotional, but they they have an emotional connection, but it's more yeah. physical. But I love, I loved this date. I was shocked, but I loved it. One of my favorite dates of the season. Okay. I was so surprised, but yeah. I was just like, man, there is something about Maria's personality where she just, cracks him open like open. he's just I mean and and you could tell it was so cool I mean he said it himself like he needed that date to that yeah. day like because he was super in his head he wasn't having a good week yeah. so Maria was just like she never brought up the the drama from the week before she didn't say nothing about that it was just fun chill like so just good. easy flirty sweet at the same time um yeah. i loved the like i even just like the way she was just like oh my god joey this is so sweet mm-hmm. like jumped on him when he you know took her shopping just to, just she's just she's just cool like maria it was like just a great she's a great time and a great she's just a great date and this is when i was just like yo i'm sorry but I'm rooting for Maria to be bachelorette. Like she would oh, be an yeah. amazing bachelorette. Like she would make all the guys, it would be so easy for all the guys to get comfortable. Yeah. She clearly can bring that dramatic, fierce edge. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I know you have thoughts for your next episode, but just hold your thoughts. Yeah, hold but I thoughts. still, even with, even with what I know you're thinking, I still think she'd be a great pick for bachelorette. Yeah. Like yeah. just for like, a, just for tv like she would be so good mm-hmm. she'd be mm-hmm. so good and um yeah i love the like say je t'aime say je t'aime like i yeah, loved exactly. that like girl a lot of girls would be scared to do that you yeah, know what i mean exactly. but she's she, it, she's yeah. so confident it's just she's cool mm-hmm. i like i like maria a lot so <laughs> I, I, she's one like, of my favorite dates <laughs> so yeah. sweet like, it was so, so sweet thank you messy <laughs> So cute. I'm like, oh, I'm pocketing that. I don't know how I'm ever going to pull it out. Like where? But I'll just be like, ah, uh, tem. <laughs> no, that was so cute. Um, So, yeah, we go into the night portion. And, yeah, it was great. Everything was great. I loved Feist being there. I, I love them. So I was like, they, I mean, they be, they were pulling out some heavy hitters this season. I was like, okay, High Feist. Budget, I'm telling you. Michael Bolton and Feist. Um, so of course she got the rose. No surprise. Um, yeah, Maria's amazing. Mm-hmm. Love her. And I hear what you're girl. saying about Bachelorette. Like, totally could see it easily. Um, everyone's obsessed with her too. Like on the internet, like I've, everyone I've, loves her. She was like, I just want Jen so bad to be the Bachelorette, even though I know they're not going to. But I'm just no, like, there. Yeah, such a great 
I'm ready. I, for we an- need an Asian bachelorette for sure. Like we need an Asian lead, and she's perfect. super overdue. But she's perfect. She has I don't know. She does. I mean, she doesn't have as much as Maria, but she has personality. She does. She does. She does. She's just she not like, the fan base wise. I don't see out of any like Asian like contender so far. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I feel like what happens sometimes is that they don't last long enough to be a contender. Yep. yep. I feel like Jen has, yep. but I don't know. I just I feel like no feel like th- this season. Yeah, or Daisy though. That's who they. It's either be. Maria or Daisy. If Daisy doesn't Either win, Maria or Daisy, probably. and honestly, it's probably gonna be Maria. Even yeah. if Daisy doesn't win, it's probably still good. like so, Maria like, not being Bachelorette is a move by the franchise. I'm telling you, everyone wow. loves her, and she's quite literally perfect Bachelorette mm-hmm. like criteria. And with what we saw with Daisy this last episode. I don't know. I I'll, like I'll save my thoughts. Maria as, yeah, I think Maria as Bachelorette, though, it feels it, it feels Katie Thurston for me. It doesn't feel like legit. No, it's super legit. It's giving yes. Caitlin Bristow, yes. but it's giving Caitlin Bristow, but that's their favorite kind. Hannah Brown, yes. they love Bachelorettes like that. They love feisty personalities. That's their bread and butter. I know, but it still has to feel like you're serious about this. But I think I think, I think Maria is serious. serious. I think Maria is serious. She's 29. Like, no, you're right. You're right. I think she's serious. I think we'll get we'll get to like the next episode. But let's yeah. let's let's keep going. So let's move on because we're good. Like, I, yeah, we're I mean, good. Lexi went went. You know, she sent herself when we already talked yep. about that. The yep. cocktail party. Um, you know, I mean, there was this moment in the cocktail party where Daisy was like you know, talking about foot massages or something. And I was just like, I mean, I just feel like every moment you need I'm to be waiting for me to be bought in and I'm not I'm waiting to be bought in. And I'm waiting. I'm like, every moment needs to be like significant in some mm-hmm. way, but it just, for her to kind of go there, it was just like, is this girl really like, and I'm, I'll give more thoughts about it. Cause it, yeah. it, Comes out more in the next episode. For um, sure, sure. The the moment when Jen was teaching the piano was really really fun. It was that so was fun. that was super cute. Oh, that was a move. <laughs> that was a move. <laughs> that was a move. Rachel did not like that. That was yeah. funny. It was like <laughs> serenading us. Like, she literally up. But oh, anyway, no. Jen, um, Kelsey, T, and Maria had the roses. Daisy, Kelsey, a, and Rachel got them. So Caitlin and Leah went on home and we can jump right into episode seven. So episode seven, we start, we're in now Jasper, Jasper, Canada, Mm -hmm. probably one of the most beautiful places they've ever been on. For sure. They weren't capping with that. That place. I was like, I want to go there and I don't even like Canada. So (laughs) I Canada. Oh my gosh. I have I have Canada's right. huge though. Yeah. I haven't been I know. I was in Canada. I've been I was I was there Montreal a few times cool. on Hill and it was just not a good experience. So it it soured oh. much, okay. but I was like, I never want to go back to Canada. But this revived it because I was like, if there's a place I want to go, it's Jack because this is the most beautiful place. The the fact that you're driving down the street and you just see elk like just chilling on the side of so the so beautiful. I was like, that's dope. Um, yeah. So yeah. So we go into just you know him playing tennis with Jess, Jesse, talking about this is the week for hometowns. I take hometowns very seriously. Understandable. Um, so yeah, we get that moment of like who's getting the first, second one on one date, you know, because everyone here has had one. And Daisy was the one who got it, or the first one that got it. Yeah. Um, and surprised. yeah, were you? Yeah, were you not surprised? I. No. She had the very first one on one. It was like everyone else has already had one, yeah. so the first one to get a double one on one should definitely be her. She hadn't had it since. But that says a lot too, though. I mean, I don't think it necessarily even has to just be because she was the very first one and it was the furthest away. But I think getting the second one-on-one, the first person to get the second one-on-one, says something. It does. Like, what does it say to you? 
I mean, it, it says like front runner, like top like, front runner. Oh yeah. yeah. Like, like major yeah. contender for winner in my, but opinion. I think that said more towards Kelsey a cause Kelsey a had a recent one-on-one -on -one. Jen got a one-on-one -on -one before Kelsey a did. And she, you know what I mean? Whereas yeah. like Daisy, Daisy's was so yeah, far away. Right. And also, I mean, no, you're right. Yeah. I and then like, like Joey's right. reason was like, she's the only one who hasn't said like how she feels yeah. for real. So I'm trying That's to give cool. her that time. But I, but we, we knew that Daisy was a front runner anyway. So it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go on to the date. Let's go on to the date. Okay, cool. Let's have the date. And I mean, Me it's too. tough because um, my thoughts are going to be compared to Kelsey A as well, because I feel like we both know, like, or feel like Daisy and Kelsey A are final two. Final like, two. It's, it's easy. It's easy. Um, and then I have thoughts about, I have thoughts about it, but let's go Get into, into your thoughts. Tell, tell me your thoughts. Tell me you, think, you want me to give it to you now? Oh, I thought we were talking about Daisy's date, right? No, we are. But like, well, let's talk about the date and then I'll give my Yeah, thoughts. let's talk about the date. Okay. So he pretty much says like he's falling for Daisy and, right. you know, she's the one he hasn't heard express that. And so he's kind of going into this date, like needing to hear more about how she feels about him, you know, yeah. um, it's a horse, horseback riding date. Um, it was just dry. Like I literally wrote down, this is dry with like mad wise. And I'm like, <laughs> but them playing, <laughs> them playing like music, the music they were playing. They were trying. Yeah. It was like, I don't know. It's saying something like I, I was, I'm like, what are they setting up? I feel like uh -huh. either they're setting up that this is the couple or. Right. They're making us love. They want us to love them so that she's runner up because she's runner up. Right. So that's why I'm like, you know, they usually hide the winner and sure. make you love the runner up. So I felt like the music was the music about that. Or was it about, you know, this is the couple, like this is the one, but it's just dry for me. The kisses are dry. There's no, no chemistry to me at all Dude, they got into a hot tub and i felt nothing i was like y'all are in a hot tub kissing and it's and no sparks also let me just say this real quick the sexual tension obviously is built up a lot before you have sex so like right that's I'm when you should be feeling it the most right right i'm not yeah. saying it goes away after you have sex but the tension, I mean, it changes. It's different once you've had sex, but it's like, I feel like this is when it should, I say all that to say, this is when it should be at its peak. Like if there's heat, if there's, this is when it should be. And I'm like, y'all are half naked in a hot tub and, <laughs> yeah. and it's dry. Like it's just dry for me. I'm not feeling it. And I, I just don't get why everyone's saying he's going to pick Daisy. And if he really is going to pick Daisy, I'm just like, this is a, this is a horrible, this is horrible, Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let me tell you why this isn't good for me. Go ahead. Cause of all of what you just said, obviously I agree. Haven't, haven't really seen it. The sparks really grow. Hasn't grown. The connection to me hasn't grown. No. When Daisy gets into the ITM, Here's 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 the thing. We all know what, what's being said online about what Daisy is saying, right? I'm not in love with Joey yet. I'm not going to tell him I'm in love with him just because just to get a rose. I want to get a rose. Get that. Totally, totally get. No one's saying that. No one has said they're in love with Joey. The difference between it is that you're saying on top of that, you don't even know if you can get there yet. That's my caveat with Daisy. I'm not expecting her to be in love with Joey yet. Joey's not saying he's in love with her. He's falling. He's he's Joey's saying, I can see falling in love with her. I can see being in love with her. Like I'm on that path. Daisy is saying to me, I don't, I'm unsure if I can get there. And I'll we'll see if I feel that on this date. In the real world, sure fair but like 
my argument about why it's like, yeah, I get people being like that normalize that being like, okay, I hear that. But my issue with it is every single thing in this entire show is set up for you to feel that. Right. And you don't, it's right. weird. Like yeah. Nick Vial talks about it all the time. You're in this bubble. It's this whole thing. You're like, I feel these feelings. I shouldn't feel at like week six seven like what's happening right because it's like that's the show that's the that's like the concoction that's created for you to get there that fast everyone usually does so when you don't i just start feeling like you just don't really like him like that and when i see daisy her she's hard to read a little bit it's like yeah i can tell she likes joey but like it's like you should want to be that excited. Like, oh my God, like I can totally fa see myself falling in love with this guy. Oh my God, oh my God. And you're the one being like, eh, I mean, we'll see if I can get there. I'm like, girl, <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. And this is Joey we're talking about. This, this is Joey, Joey this ain't Rise Clayton. of Day. This ain't okay, Joey. baby this girl. Ain't this isn't Clayton this Eckerd. Is, this isn't no. Zach Shawcross. This, isn't, this is yeah. Joey Graz a Day. I'm just like, hold on, hold on. You're the first one on one date. Okay. You're the front runner. Like this is your second. And you're trying to tell me you can't even say you're falling. I don't know, y'all. I think we need to reconsider what is actually being said, because I think it's a yeah. weird to me, not a great sign that again, this entire environment is created and cultured for yeah. you to feel that and you don't even you're more questioning it than anything is okay. a little odd Are you and then that? i just don't feel anything and she's hard to read and i just feel like she yeah. looks unsure slash kind of like lost in the sauce and smiley and i'm just like i can't get date i don't get daisy and i'm okay gonna, are you ready for my hot take i can't Here's wait I have, it's two. Well, I don't know if I should give the second one until after Kelsey A. Or give it to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it after Kelsey me. My second take, hot take about, about Daisy after Kelsey A. But the, my uh -huh. hot take about Daisy is Daisy is Cassie. <laughs> that is good. And Joey in the situation is Colton, not Colton. Because well, Joey, sorry, I don't want to cut you off. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. no but you're right. Because I feel like. And, you know what I'm about to say. No, I do. Because I feel like, I feel like a part of, real quick, I feel like a part of what a lot of people are saying about why they think he's going to pick Daisy is because they see what, that he really likes her. They feel like. Right. Joey right. showing that he's into her, which is kind of how it was with Colton and Cassie, right? But Daisy is Cassie, okay? Daisy, this was the moment for me. Like, not only was it in the moment of like, I just don't know, I guess mm -hmm. I like him, but like a super unsure. But then it also was when she, and there's nothing wrong with what she, when she said this. When she said, after you meet my family, then I might be able to like feel like, yeah. now I might be able to see it. Now, don't get me wrong. For sure, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Right. But I don't think you need, the fact that you need your family meeting mm. him to help you know how you feel is a right. problem. That's what makes her Cassie. Ca and, and, and I hate to say it like this. It's going to sound mean, but it's a little juvenile. It's a little like, yeah. it's a little like, immature for lack of a better word not like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. being a mature person and an immature adult but also like emotionally immature and like you kind of still need your parents to tell you how you're supposed to feel about something like with Cassie it was like your dad being like why is your dad why does that you should know how you feel about yep. him outside of your family now if he meets them and he they don't get along and that's a whole nother thing but it really doesn't have to have bearing on how you feel about this person. And totally. it's almost like Daisy started saying, maybe I'll be able to, maybe I'll feel that after my fam. Like, and so to me, I'm like, oh yeah, Daisy's like, Daisy's a little kid. 
like for, yeah. I don't know if I'm being, but Daisy's a no, little, I, I agree. She doesn't, she doesn't know. She's not really ready. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Cassie wasn't. Either. And I forget that Daisy's what, like 25. She's like 25 and I 25, think 26. I mean, she's a little, and because she's not super young, but she's younger than me. Yeah, she's a yeah, younger, yeah. younger than me. That made a lot more sense. But right. I think Daisy, because she's had so many health challenges, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, she's been, she's been parented and like just nurtured and taken care of for a for, for a longer period of time. She's now kind of coming into her own and like knowing how to, how to like understand that and like think for herself and feel for herself and like not mm -hmm. there's one thing to like obviously trust your parents with good advice but yeah you rely on like them to and tell I, you feel about something like i mean that. and i think that even that is like a pulling out a straw of like hey maybe that'll make me feel like right i can get there with you because i'm just kind of like I don't know. I just am standing by my point of like, yeah. I just feel like everything about this entire experience, he's the only guy that you guys are all vying for. Naturally. Yeah. You are like, no, I'm there. Like naturally mm -hmm. you kind of want to, you kind of want to do that. And it's like, to, yeah, to be this unsure is just not but as I think normal as we think it should yeah. be. Because no, I agree. Environment, but I also think, I also think Daisy is feeling more like she's like because this was the moment. The moment okay. was in the night portion, after she kind of was honest and just started kind of laying yeah. bare how she felt and stuff like that, and then was honest about like I kind of need to see you, like see you with my family, like I need that or whatever. I feel like there was a moment after that where she like got emotional. And I think that's when it clicked for her, mm -hmm. like something clicked for her. And she started because even in the ITM after that moment, she was like, oh, my mm -hmm. God, I am falling for him. So I think right when she verbalized why mm -hmm. she, was what she was feeling now, it's a week to me. It's weak when you're saying I'm in love with you now because my family met you like that's weak. I, I don't know if you can go a whole life on that. I mean, yeah. I think what happens and it's what happened with Colton and Cassie, let's be honest, like, and not even mm -hmm. outside of Colton being gay, like mm -hmm. it's what happened with them. They were together two years before yeah. the crazy stalker whole thing went, even went down. They were together right. two years and he was around her family and they were, I mean, but it's like, it was because she's still just, she was still young. She was still just mm -hmm. like, not really so she was still just like kind of going with the flow and then mm -hmm. didn't really know how to yet say like, is yeah. this what I want forever though? Like This is I what Daisy gives me. This is what she gives. Daisy Even her energy just gives like, oh yeah, okay, cool. Like yeah. she's exactly. going for the flow and going Which with the flow. Which is why I'm like, it's not going to last. If he does yeah. pick Daisy, it's not going to last. Like yeah. I give it a year. I give yeah. it two years. I give it a couple of years until she starts like kind of growing up a little bit and realizing what she actually wants. And then mm -hmm. I don't know, but I, it's just dry from the beginning for me. So it's tough. It's really tough. Yeah. So that's my, that's my, now I'll give my hot take about how, how that's going to pan out with Joey, how I think it's going to pan. Out. Okay. Okay. So let's move on to the group date. Kelsey, yep. Maria and Rachel and Jen. And, um, yeah, it's like a lumberjack, lumberjill kind of thing, competition, mm -hmm. and, you know, hacking, uh, what is it? Wood and all that stuff and yep. all that fun stuff. Um, yeah. And yeah, it was, it was cool. Maria was spiraling a little bit. Um, yeah. she was definitely spiraling. Like, you know, her main thing was like, how do I introduce him to someone? How do I introduce someone to my family who's not all mine, who's not just me, just mine, you know, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. understandable. Um, yeah. But yeah, the date was cool. It was all right. It was like, a, I gave it like a five. Like, it was fine. Yeah. I mean, it was fine. Like, I wish Joey had like joined in or something. I, I think that's always, again, I'm a broken record with that. Makes Usually it better. Does, this season, he's been doing that. So I'm surprised. I know. Kind of I'm surprised he didn't. 
Yeah. But maybe because it's like a, it is like a lumberjack kind of strength kind of thing. Like mm-hmm. you don't want to like blow them out of the water kind of thing. You know, like, I don't know. That's probably why. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's true. No, I was just going to say when we go into the night portion, um, you know. Well, has- what did you think of Jen like interrupting the interview and. Oh, yeah. And I, like, was, I mean, I think everybody- Jen, Jen is just always putting herself out there. Like she's always just trying to, you know, be top of mind for him, which I think is smart in this situation. But <sighs> not gonna part do of me. But go ahead. Right. Part of me was like, okay, Jen, now it's feeling a little like we're trying a little bit hard. Oh, no. She for sure. For sure. Is I didn't love it. I didn't love it. I'm just kind of like, awkward. because I think maybe because I knew her commentary and the ITM of just like she was kind of spiraling a little bit too and concerned about not getting a rose. I was just like, okay, Jen, like, yeah, I don't know. But I hear you. Anyway. Night portion. Night portion. um, You know, I think all of his conversations were were cool. Honestly, they showed the least with Rachel. Like, they showed it the least. They showed him with Rachel the very least. And we got barely anything of him and Rachel in in episode six. So I'm like. I know. It's weird. Weird. Like. Yeah. I kind of would have rather Jen be final three over Rachel because. It it, it would kind of make more sense. Of, I don't know. It's I feel like Jen and Rachel are like Somewhere. neck and neck in terms of screen time. Yeah, with Joey and level of connection with Joey. I don't know. It's I feel like they just this, show this final six is tough. This final six is yeah. close. Like yeah, it's true. It's true. It's close for sure. Let's jump into Maria. Okay. Let's go to Maria. She's spiraling really hard. And, you know, they have this conversation where pretty much she's like, she's done. Like she's, she's like, I'm ready to, she's just like, I can't do this anymore. You know? Um, and it's, it's, it's tough. She's like, you know, I'm not cut out for this. I don't think I can do this anymore. And you could tell he was, he was really taken aback. A part of him was trying to like, kind of talk her into staying but then also knowing like maybe i, I mean i shouldn't be doing that like, i shouldn't be yeah. trying to talk her into staying yeah. um so he's like yeah your mind is made up even when he would say stuff to her like you count yourself out like we have a connection too like you just mm-hmm. you're always preparing you know me kissing someone else or me having connection with someone else like you're one of those people that i have a connection with as well but yeah. then she just always had a rebuttal. And there was this moment where she would, re- she rebutted something and he just like, his face was like, okay, like, okay. it doesn't matter what I say, pretty much, right. what say, you know, and mm-hmm. kind of like, well, I'm going to just let you go. But you could tell he really feels something for Maria. Mm-hmm. Um, so she got up, she walked away and he didn't know, like, there was this moment where he was kind of talking, I think it was like a producer um, where he was just like, Yo, this is the basically in a nutshell saying like this is the kind of stuff that like f's me up like it's effing mm-hmm. with my mind because mm-hmm. how am I supposed to put myself out there and mm-hmm. then this kind of stuff happens like I don't even know what she's about to do like yeah but I'm supposed to now keep opening up and go deeper with someone like yo this is gonna f me up like <laughs> it's gonna f with my mind and I was just feeling him like I get it like it's that's really that's a hard hardest part about being being the bachelor or bachelorette on this on the show so i mean yeah what were your thoughts about it yeah i mean i think some people thought this was a move by maria like manipulative a little bit but i think she was just i think she was just being like like she said it when she came back to the conversation like i'm just like oh i'm like processing out loud but I think the mistake was being like, I can't do this. I don't think I can do this anymore. Like that was the, okay, that was a bit too far. You yeah. know, I think it's, I think everyone, if they're honest, all six of them are feeling how Maria is feeling. Like it's hard for me to imagine you liking someone as much as me. Shoot. Of course. If not more than me, geez, like yeah. that's hard. That's a hard pill to swallow. And I'm, next week I could introduce you to my family. Like that's crazy. And it's tough. Like, everyone's feeling that right 
But yeah. for her to say to him, uh, I don't know if I can do this anymore. It's like you subconsciously are trying to get him to that re- that, like validate you, yep, reaffirm you, and fight for it. And it's mm-hmm. like Joey just wasn't doing that. And I respected that. And mm-hmm. I think that that was Maria's kind of, I don't think she meant to do that, but that was her mistake in the situation was to not try to like manipulate him. Um, And I think that if I had a criticism of Maria, it would be that like, she does that often. Yes. She's done it in the past, even being like, I'm not going to kiss you because it's like, she does. She'll either do it playfully or you can tell she's not trying to do it maliciously. It's just kind of like a little bit of a natural thing for her to do. And she needs to, hopefully if she watches it back, maybe she'll kind of check, check that a bit. Um, it's okay to like be second guessing. Everyone's going to second guess Mm -hmm. in your position, but don't go so far as to like be insecure to, you know, let that motivate you to like, you know, be a little bit manipulative because yeah. Yeah. So that was, was, that was for sure. Interesting. Sorry, go ahead. Oh no, I was just going to say like, and maybe, I don't know. My other thing with Joey in the situation was interesting because you, even though, oh my God, there's a huge wasp in my room, y'all. <laughs> um, How did it get in my room? I'm freaked out. Say what you're going to say while I kill this wasp and then I'll give my point. Be careful Sorry. that it doesn't sting oh you. Oh my God, that is so You okay? Yes. Listening. Okay. So no, that was my hot take about Maria. Like she's manipulative. Yeah. Like she is. And and again, yeah. I don't think it's malicious. I think some people have man, I for lack of a better word, like toxic behavior. I don't want to say behavior, but toxic like tools. Tendencies. Like, use yeah tendencies or tools that they try to use in relationships that mm-hmm. it's like oh you don't have to do that you you, yeah. you don't you shouldn't do that but you also don't have to do that like and I think right. her tendency at times like you said like the I'm not gonna kiss you kind of thing she did it again tonight like our boy last night, like you know I'm not gonna kiss you but then she kissed him it's like mm-hmm. like right I, after he's yeah. like you're all over the place <laughs> What made me think, like, it's funny that people are saying they think, think that was a, this was a move because I did not think it was a move until she flipped the script and was like, now I want to stay. And when she actually decided to stay, like when she came back from walking out and then, and was like, yeah, I want to, I don't want to give up on you. I don't want, I was like, oh, that's what made me think, yeah, this was a move because- oh, okay. Like she was, she was seemingly done and Mm -hmm. he didn't talk her into staying. So who talked you into staying then Maria? Like you were going to stay. Just kidding. That's the thing. It's like, that's what I mean. It's like Maria is that type where she'll say stuff Mm -hmm. that's not true. Like, I'm not going to kiss you because you kissed all the other girls and then you kiss him. Like, yeah. I'm leaving because I can't do this anymore, but actually I'm not like, you're not leaving though. So don't say that you're leaving. If you know that you're not, that's why it's where you thought this is going to make him give me the rose potentially tonight. So that, so that like, please stay, please know Mm -hmm. that I'm sure about you, please stay. And that didn't happen. You know, he ended up not giving out and, and she was in a she was in a like super not a she good was, space. Like she was frustrated. She yeah. was bothered that she was on this group date. She it wasn't her kind of a date. So it was like all these feelings. And I think she was kind of like, I'm gonna tell him. I don't even think I can do this anymore. Like yeah. you could tell, like that's kind of where it was coming from. It's like, okay, hold on. Wait yeah. a minute. Cause now you now you had to backtrack and and exactly. renege because exactly. you kind of put your card out a little too soon. That was like, oh, I don't want to play that and card. She- done that throughout the season like even when there's stuff she didn't like she would kind of call him on it and she was always and that's what I mean it's like manipulative like you're expecting 
a response that you that you didn't get. Like when when yeah. he kissed Lexi, when he he gave Lexi the win of the pageant or whatever, and she's like, she called him on it, and he was kind of like, well, you know, yeah, I saw more. There was some more to that for me with Lexi, and it, it's like she doesn't get the response she thinks she's gonna get, and it's mm-hmm. it's manipulative. She's yeah. she's saying things that aren't even really legit, but I think her. I really believed that she was like done. And then all of a sudden she wanted to stay. And I was like, yeah, this was a move. This was <laughs> she tried it. And it didn't. And then she regretted it because it backfired in the sense that now he's, he's questioning she, you. Yeah. Questioning and doubting. Like, why would I keep you if you're like, if you're halfway out the door right now, like, girl, what? she's so, going to get harder. She's going to get harder. We got to move on. Yep. Kelsey A's one-on-one. So this was the best one-on-one of the whole season so far. Like they explored okay. Jasper, hot cocoa. They did the s'mores, Lady and the Tramp thing. Yeah. The plunge thing. Pool. Yeah, they played the pool. Plunge. There was this moment in that this pool bar where they were like drinking beer and like playing pool. And she was like, you know, just so relaxed. They were just they were so natural together. And that's where they heard about the polar bear, polar bear plunge. And she oh, was right, 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 right. She was like, I want to do it. Oh, my God. And he was looking at her like, oh, you really? Okay. Yeah. Not only do you want to do it, you're excited about it. Yeah. And then it was just so cute, them doing it. Then it was like kissing in the water. Then they went in the sauna. It was just so great, Kayla. It was so, yeah. like, it was natural. It was romantic. You know what it felt like? It felt mm-hmm. like Charity and Dotton's. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, that's what it's made me think of. Like that. It felt like yeah. real world, you know, something we would do if we were just like, you know, yeah. stopping here, stopping there. But then the connection is, it, you know, and they just had a date recently. So it's like, it feels kind of back to back. And it just, it was great. I gave it, yeah. I gave it like a, like a nine. It was amazing. It was 10 great. and a date for me. That's great. That's awesome. 10 out of 10. I mean, like, this is what yeah. I'm talking about. Like, the connection is growing. Like, growing. they're on the same page. They're both falling for each other. It's yep. easy. It's comfortable. You, The chemistry is there. Yes. Like, Joey's so relaxed. He's so himself. Yep. And I just, Kelsey is the perfect amount of chill, but giggly and, like, kind of, like, fun-loving that she's a little bit different than Joey. Yep. And... She's just perfect for Joey. I just, if perfect y'all are trying to tell me. No. This no. ain't, this shouldn't be the winner. I'm just, I just don't you, I'm I don't know what, what show y'all are watching. I don't. I don't know what show y'all are watching. And nope. here's the thing. Here's where I was going to, before I killed that wasp, this is what I was going to say, but it's perfect. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Know. Just give it to me. I believe Kelsey and Daisy are final too. For sure. If his first decision is to pick Daisy, I won't be that surprised, but it will not be a good reflection of where Joey's at. Yeah. Because I mm. think, just to even rewind to mm. Daisy's date, I was kind of shocked that he didn't, that he gave her the rose. Like, mm. And was just like convincing himself, well, I just think she's special and I just think this is worth it. And I just to give her this rose this soon. I thought he was going to be like, hey, well, let's just let me think on it and I, we'll just wait till the rose ceremony. I think to give Daisy the rose on that date, to pick Daisy in the end, which would be a, to me at this point a little bit of a wild decision, is to like, it's it's like picking that person like, you want more than they want you and you kind of know that. And it's yeah. like, just to get that, there's like a, a little bit of an extra validation you can kind of get from someone who is a little bit unsure, like who is a little like, mm, we'll see. Like there's a bit more of a chase you kind of do with that. <laughs> and to like pick that person says yeah. that you still are trying to like almost prove maybe to like that past of like charity, right? Who didn't pick you. You wanted her more than she wanted you, right? Like wrong. Does that make sense? Is that like a. No, I'm, I'm literally sitting here like okay. that yeah. brain, brain thing emoji <laughs> where it's like mind blown emoji is happening yeah. right for me because yeah. that is literally my hot take. Like literally yep. 
My hot take is oh, exactly. That's what, that was your other hot take. That oh, my other wow. Take. We're just here. Crazy. You saying Love literally you, the moment you said the word chase, I was like, yo, yep. so in tune because we're so in sync. Because that's my hot take. This is this is what it is, right? Because even after yep. we, you know, the night portion with Kelsey, the yep. best conversation I've ever seen on like on this so season. So good. Far, she's she's so able to be open. She's so able to be vulnerable. She's so there with him. She yep. talked about her mom again. She got emotional. She taught, and then they went from that to talking about life, talking about. Yep. They, she can talk to him about anything. She's an open book. She's yep. freely open and falling in awkward. love with him. It's just... it's, it's, there's no awkwardness. She's bubbly versus his chill and quiet. It's like, perfect. It's, it's perfect, perfect. Right? But this is the thing. This is the, this is, and Kayla, it's crazy you said this mm -hmm. because I'm like, it's almost like guys sometimes like the chase. Yeah. And there's something in him that he likes. He really likes Daisy. He really, yep. I think people are saying that because they see he really likes Daisy. And the yep. fact that she's not freely giving that back to him mm -hmm. is like a little bit more of a chase than Kelsey A. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more. And sometimes yep. guys like that, they don't, and it sucks because women are mm -hmm. completely different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Women are completely different. Like, yeah, in this situation, it, depending on the woman, but the right kind of woman mindset is if they were in this position where they're they like, have freely giving them what they what they they have a calcier type of person <clears throat> versus a Daisy, they're gonna look, especially if someone's a bachelorette, it's gonna be like, I'm picking as Kelsey because I is here, like it's why? right here. We here. Here, we here. Why would I? Why would I go for? Why this? would I risk? Yeah. Wait. Why would I go for this and have to work for this when it should be freely given to me? And he is. But guys are different, and sometimes they. And I think, mm -hmm. like you're saying, and I'm gonna shut up. Like you're saying, mm -hmm. his mentality mm -hmm. might not be where it needs to be because yeah but guys are just different guys like the chase they just do so yeah you no know, a part of me feels like you should just easily be ready to pick kelsey a right now right part of me knows <laughs> because it's so easy with kelsey a and daisy is a more is more of a chase he might pick yep. daisy and the other thing that makes it a little bit more like worse of our take probably being totally fair is that joey is also a bit of a people pleaser right yes. so it's like he really wants that like i i want you to be i want to show you that no we're good like you like me and it's like i want to win that from you a little bit yeah. Not from everybody, which is why I was going to say it with Maria, because I found it interesting that he didn't like try to convince Maria in a way. But that just shows like, I mean, his level of feelings for Daisy. Right. Yeah. But yeah, if if Joe goes so far as to pick Daisy off of this, if she continues this, I don't really know thing. I'm going to be like, ah, come on, yeah. Joey. Kelsey. Is yeah. Right. I'm going to be disappointed. Here. I'm going to be just, I'm going to be super disappointed. Now, maybe this is a part of the whole different ending we never seen type Which of is, scenario. What do, you, what do you think that means? Like, what do maybe you think it's a, mean is? I pick, maybe it's a, I pick Daisy in the moment. I've heard this theory online. Daisy is who I told producers, like, I'm going to propose. And then literally on the spot, I just decide, never mind, or something. Because I know it's like that that's they plan it out that way, right? Gotcha. So maybe the first person who arrives, he ends up proposing to Kelsey A. I mean, like, holy crap, I can't let go of this girl. And then like Oh God gotcha. breaks up with Daisy second. I don't know. Or he just ends up doing a switcheroo, which is something we have seen before. Before in different even, forms. Even the situation of like literally I, right after. I'm like, Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've seen that exactly. with Jason. Right, years ago. Yeah, I mean, well, with Jason, it was still like they, they, it was the three months, and then as soon as they, it was similar. Well, yeah. Oh, what? Oh, I it thought. Was, 
Oh, like okay. the three months of them coming off the show, they were just struggling. They were struggling in those three months right away. Got it. I thought it was right after he proposed. He was like, wait, never mind. No, I take no it back. they were together. Like they, they Got tried it, it out. They were separate. Obviously, they had little rendezvous, yep, but they yep, were struggling yep. to jump. And then they already were broken up by the time they got to AFR. And it wasn't until AFR that he reached out to Melissa. To, Ma- to Melissa. I mean, to Molly, sorry. Molly. To Molly. I was, is her name Molly? Okay. Yeah. Melissa is who, who he picked. Right. It was yep. that then that he waited until then to go after Molly. And I think when Ari did it, it was different because they, it was almost like they made Jason wait until AFR to, mm-hmm. tr- to go for Molly. Because he wanted to go for Molly. But they probably were like, wait till AFR, we do it on camera. But with Ari, he was like, I'm going to do it. So they were like, all right, we'll do it with you. So they sent a crew with him to do it. So it was similar because it was within those three months that it it broke down. But I mean, I think the only other thing I was thinking could be is that he could could be like trying to pick Daisy. It could be like a Des situation. Like she really wanted Brooks. But- Brooks jump ship and then she jump ended ship. up Chris and they were off the sunset and they're still married to this day. Yeah. So it's it's like, everything. But that's happened before too. Like it could be like I want to. Yeah, be so I'm saying like what's something we've never seen? I don't know what that is. Yeah, yeah we've seen it all. I feel like or being like no, and then him, him because that's kind of what they're setting up that the person says says no, no. or show up or something. Which crazy. at this point I could see that. Because I remember even there's a preview where, and this is where I'm like, y'all know, I don't have spoilers, but I see previews and y'all know sometimes I'd be right. So I if you don't want to hear this part, fast forward. But I do think she's, I mean, we've been saying she's fine on two, right? But there is a preview where a clip where Daisy is saying something to the effect of like, I I just don't know. Like, she's kind of saying the same thing. I can't remember how she put it, but it's almost like, yeah, I don't know, like, if I can get there, like, mm-hmm. in, and she's in, like, the jungle. You know what I mean? There's a wow. bug in here. Sorry, y'all. I have to call maintenance. Like, why are there bugs in my room? This is nasty. <laughs> my windows are, like, not fully closed or something. Anyway. Yeah, so... Uh, I mean, again, it, the Colton thing, it was this, it was like, hey, she was ready to go. She was ready to jump ship. And then he ran after her. So it's just, I don't know. There's a there's right. so many different there's so many different things we've seen happen. already. For yeah. it to be something we've never seen. I just don't care. I just what want to <laughs> just don't care. Like, right. The most logical option. I mean, even the it, Kayla, even after they had dinner, it was like they did the against that they were like against the against tree. The wall. I mean, yeah, 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 right. It was so like they're so was, epic. They're so perfect. They're so perfect for each other. It was just, it was really awesome. Um, so yeah, so pretty Rose much ceremony. ceremony, and he doesn't have a cocktail party, but he does pull Maria to talk to her. Which I was like. So you're gonna give Maria the rope? Why didn't you just have a co- <laughs> excuse me a cocktail party? Because once he pulled Maria, I'm like, oh, I mean, you're gonna give her. Why would you ask her if you weren't gonna give her a rose? You were just gonna send her home anyway. So he was basically pulling her so that he could r- make sure that she's good with staying, and then yeah. got it. Okay, but Rachel wasn't happy. She was definitely no. Not- I thought we had no time. Hold on. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel be like, wait a minute now. Hold on. <laughs> uh-huh. um, but yeah, Jen and Kelsey T kind of, you know, they yeah. they went on home and Hi, Kelsey, miss you, girl. I know. Miss Kelsey T. I love her. And um, and yeah, yeah Jen, Jen said this thing in the in the as as Dimitri would say in the Uber <laughs> I hope I find someone as special as him one day. And I was like, Aww. yeah, it was really sweet. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens next week. I mean, you know, Hometown, baby. always like, just like what is about to be. <clears throat> I know they set it up one way and you never know. It could be, like, you just never know. So yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Well, thank you guys so much for 
Joining us here on All the Right Reasons with Kayla and Debbie, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments below. We love your comments. And yeah, for those listening on the podcast, thank you so much and give us five stars. And we will see you guys next week for sure. For sure. We will. For sure. We will be, we'll be back on. And promise, stay, promise. stay tuned. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when we post because, you know, we're busy, busy bees over here. So yeah. when we post, you got to know we're, we're posting. So yeah. all right. I love is one recap. Should it be will coming. be coming. My yeah. God. It's coming. It will be coming. Stay tuned. <laughs> all right. Love y'all. Love you guys. Bye. Bye-bye.